For about 600 bucks, we transformed a blank room into a very inviting and functional guest room. We're the White family. We live in rural Alaska, and for us, it's DIY all day, every day. So a blank room to a beautiful bedroom for 600 bucks. The only way you're gonna do that is if you DIY it. And all these plans I'm gonna show you, I'll give you the cost, and of course, you can grab the free plans on my website. So whenever I start with a blank room, I always think, what is the primary purpose of that room? And since this is a guest room, the primary purpose of it is sleeping, so the first project should be a bed. Lucky for us, we had a farmhouse bed in storage that I built about 10 years ago. I originally spent about $100 in materials and refreshed it with a little bit of paint and it is beautiful. So every guest room also needs a nice side chair, somewhere comfortable for our guests to sit. But in this guest room, I also wanted to have an extra sleeping bed, a twin bed. I mean, realistically, mom's probably gonna end up sleeping in it, but you know how that is. So um, I wanted to create a project that could do both. It would be somewhere great to sit and then also easily convert it to a twin sleeper. So I came up with the flip chair. So it's a chair and it's also a bed and it also stores all of the bedding necessary to make it into a bed inside the chair. The cushions, for those of you asking, um, I just bought a camp pad and then I covered it in a polar fleece slip cover. If you don't like sewing, which I don't either, can't blame you, um, you could probably buy cushions and then customize the plans to fit your need. So that's just a simple hinge right here and it just flips forward and I don't have any bedding in there but all the bedding can be stored in there. Some readers had some really good suggestions to sew the three pieces together so they could just flip out and that's really a good idea. Um, I just don't have those skills. <laughs> okay, so just like that it turns into a bed. And I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> so this project actually turned out really well and it's so cool that it doesn't, you don't even have to move it, it just flips right in place turns into a really cool bed and it doesn't take up a ton of space everything's still functional and usable so one thing I keep meaning to do when I go to the hardware store is get a handle and put it here because that would really help because it is a little heavy um, but it's not it's not terrible so for about a hundred bucks you can build this chair that's also a bed I love this project so much. Every time I see it, the wheels are just spinning, like, ah, oh, I need to do more projects. Maybe a couch version with the same kind of flip concept. Keep an eye out for that. We got the two sleeping projects done, and that's the primary purpose of the room, so now we're going to work to what is the next purpose of the room, and that is a nightstand, because you need somewhere to put your things as you're sleeping. It supports the bed. I wanted to create a nightstand that's just as grand and just as substantial as the farmhouse bed, but I have a newborn baby and just didn't have a lot of time. She was really fussy at the time, and so I ne knew I needed to create something that was very, very simple. So what I came up with is this design where the legs are actually one by fours, but they're designed to kind of match the four by four here. So it looks just substantial, but there's a lot less work and it's actually a really, really easy build. So I wanted to add a drawer in here, but I didn't have the right size drawer slide. We live in rural Alaska and I didn't want to put the baby in the car seat and drive and go get a drawer or slide and all that. So what I came up with is just using aluminum angle it's really easy to cut and work with and I just screwed it in there as a drawer slide so the drawer just literally sits on top of those two angle pieces 
and then I put a, a kick on the back of the drawer so that it can't tip out on you. So we'll put it in here and I'll show you how it works. And it's perfect for a nightstand where, you know, this nightstand drawer might be used 10 times a year. There's no need to go out and spend $10 on a drawer slide and hassle with a drawer slide. When you, with a couple scrap pieces of metal, you can make your own drawer slide and it's super easy to install. So this was a big win. So I actually built a matching nightstand, but I changed up the front of it just a little bit to give you guys some options and also so it's not so matchy-matchy but also another really easy build and the two of them together about a hundred bucks for this size of a nightstand this substantial made of solid wood you're probably talking minimum 400 bucks so real bargain here so one of my favorite parts of this room is the be our guest sign and it's completely made out of scrap wood from the other project so it was absolutely free i just printed out the letters on a computer cut them out the old-fashioned way, traced them, and then I used a sh Sharpie to trace them out. So don't tell anybody, but super easy project and it adds so much to this room. All right, so our guest comes in, they got a suitcase. They're like, hmm. Where does my suitcase go? Oh wow, those look like luggage racks. These little guys, they also serve as a bench to sit on, but there's more. You can, they're light, so you can move them really easily. And they're also stackable, so if you, you need shelving over benches, stack them up and then use them as shelving and free up some more space in your room. So, I think it was about 50 bucks for two of them. Okay, so you bring your suitcase in and you know where to put it because we've got a luggage rack that's actually a bench. Now, where do you put your clothes away? So, the original uh, design for this room was this whole area is supposed to be a closet. And I got to thinking about it and they thought, what a waste, because this is a guest room, they definitely don't need a closet that big, and if we just made it a closet, it would get filled up with stuff we don't need or want. So I opted to make the room bigger instead of making a giant closet in here. Uh, but the guests still need somewhere to put their clothes. Now with all the projects going in here, the room was starting to feel a little bit cluttered, so I wanted something really subtle, really hidden, doesn't take up a lot of space. If you just live out of a suitcase, then you never even know it's there. But for those guests that want to hang their things, this is perfect for shirts, but of course you could hang this ledge higher for dresses or, um, you know, I thought about putting something on this wall for dresses, but here's the reality. We live in rural Alaska. The odds of somebody bringing a nice dress into this room that needs to be hung up very, very little. Maybe, maybe like one or two people in our lifetime will do that. And I thought if it came to that, they can hang it on the curtain rod and it would be totally fine. So I, I said, you know what, for one or two instances that this situation might happen, it's not worth building a separate project for. But that's the great thing about DIY is you build for what you need, not build for every worst case scenario and then have a bunch of stuff you don't need or want. Okay, so the other cool thing about this is there's actually hooks underneath. So if you had like a purse or whatever, there's somewhere for that to go. Now, here's the challenge. So I kind of envisioned this ledge changing and maybe we put some artwork that's leaning or, you know, um, I can totally imagine our guests coming here and, you know, using this for like their sunglasses or their purse or whatever. But we have nowhere to put like jeans and things that need somewhere to fold. And this ledge is so narrow that even my jeans, and I'm pretty short, they stick off. Yeah, right? So my solution is here. This folds down. And this is easy to make any size you want. And what's so great about it is it just, it disappears when you don't need it. So if you want to use it, 
it takes up a little bit more space and it's very functional and it's at a really nice height. If you don't want to use it, and I was going to clip a bunch of postcards here so our guests, if they want to send a postcard back home, they can just grab one and, and use it and some other stationary supplies um, and maybe some local information like um, that they can take with them. Uh, like a favorite hiking trail or a favorite fishing spot with some very specific instructions. A great place for it and it's really easy to change it, you know, for our Wi-Fi password changes. I don't have to go out and print out a whole new printout and frame it, just clip it right back in there. So this is a, such a fun, easy project, easy build, and it's so cute and very functional. So we got the essentials taken care of. Where do you sleep? Where does your extra sleep? Where's the nightstands? Where's the closet? That's all taken care of. But what if our guests want to relax, watch some TV, kick back, maybe have a snack or a cup of tea or a coffee or maybe some wine? Or they have leftovers that they need to get chilled right away. <laughs> Who are these guests, <laughs> right? <laughs> Okay, so we've got a solution for that too, and this is the sliding barn door cabinet that's actually a snack cabinet because there's a microwave and there's a mini fridge. This project was one sheet of plywood and some one buys. It cost about $120 altogether, and uh, the barn door hardware really helped us save because we DIY'd it out of off the shelf washers. You know, one of my favorite things about going to a hotel is the availability of beverages all the time. I actually look for hotels that have like free coffee in the lobby. Um, so I wanted to make sure we added that element into our guest room. So we bought a pod coffee maker so that our guests can make coffee on demand. And I built this crate drawer underneath. It's all just scrap one by boards and the knobs I had on hand, uh, but even if you're buying all new materials, you're talking about $20. Um, this is the easiest project you will ever make with drawers. <laughs> because, I'll show you why. So if you see this quarter inch plywood, it runs on the space between, right here, that's its drawer slide. So. So it looks like a crate and the slats between the crate act as the drawer slides. So now my guests can help themselves to coffee whenever they want and we built this cup tree and this again was scraps. There's a 1x8, a 1x6, a 2x2, and a 1x3 and then about $5 in cup hooks and now there's a place for all the cups to get put away and Having things organized like this will help our guests be able to keep the space organized as they're staying in it. And as I go to clean it between guests, it's easy because I can just pick this up and wipe it all down and put it back. So um, yeah, it's, a, it's not just a decor project, it's an organization project that helps the guest room continue to be like a space that's easy to use and it's not, you know, I'm not creating like a cleaning problem in the basement for myself. So up above the snack cabinet, we built this little ledge and it's just like the closet ledge, but it doesn't have a closet rod in it. I'm going to add some task lighting in here so um, our guests can help themselves to a beverage or a snack without a blaring light on. And um, it also holds the TV for our guests that may want to enjoy a show or watch a movie. Um, another little tip that we did is we just bought a white extension cord and it kind of blends so you can't really see it and um, that just helps keep the cluttered look of the space down. It's, it's really funny, when it comes to rooms, a lot of times you'll notice the one detail out of place, and if we had that black cord, it would be the first thing that a lot of people would notice, so we invested 10 bucks in a white cord. <laughs> So as we were moving along in the progress of this room, um, a lot of people were commenting that, man, it's looking a little bland in there. And um, that's just one of kind of my secret design tips that I do is the bigger the project and the earlier it is in the, the design stage, the more basic that I do it. So like the bed, I keep that basic and the nightstands I keep it. And then as we get closer, I start getting with smaller projects with more detail. Um, 
you don't want the room to look too busy. So the smaller it is, the busier it can be. And also, as um, the seasons change, you can easily update. So for example, the bed, I chose to do all white bedding and then one pillow and one duvet color that is seasonal for Christmas. So um, come summer, I can change that out into something you know, lighter and different colors without having to redo the whole space. So a great way to save money but to keep your space feeling fresh and new all the time is to go very neutral with almost everything and then the final accessories, that's where you add your touch of the festiveness. Um, a lot of you are asking about the gray paint and it is Bear Marquee and the color is Gateway Gray and the reason that we keep using it is because the can just never runs out so we're like what color we should we paint it well we still have some gray paint so we just keep using it um, we're frugal and don't like the waste and a little bit of paint apparently is going a long ways <laughs> kind of wishing at this point it would run out but <laughs> we still have like half a can so there will be more gray paint because what do you do um, anyway, so we appreciate you guys watching this whole series on our guest room and helping it come together. I promise you, if we weren't blogging this and we weren't videoing it, it would never look this good. It would probably still look like an empty room in the basement. So we appreciate you guys and thanks for tuning in. And as always, all of the free plans are available through the links in the description. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next room. out here for a while. Oh, pretty sweet room. I got room envy. We live like 350 miles from a Target. So I don't have lamps. I don't have like little some of the little decor items that I would have liked to have gotten. But that just has to wait for me to do a big shopping trip. And uh, we just have to wait till it's hockey season. <laughs> then we start making all these trips and then I go to Target and then we get lamps. That's how it works. Good. I don't know what to say. The mattress magically appeared on the bed. I mean, it never really did it. I woke her up with a saw. I bought new clothes. Explore the great outdoors. You should probably take the tags off, though. Maybe that's in style. I need batteries for this. You know you're skinny when the skinny jeans are loose. Oh. Okay, see, this is looking long. Boards stayed up. I love this color. What do you think of it? It looks brown. <laughs> the slight twinge of annoyance is conveyed properly. Um, <laughs> you can go cut boards. Okay, you ready? Are you rolling, Jen? <laughs> I have to laugh. Yes. No, I have another I have an idea, but I'll tell you for that. Do what I mean? No. But this would be awesome in a hotel room. Or even just like a mini kitchen. Like, ooh, we should do that longer. We should do it longer and then put a sink in it with the bar door. <laughs> yeah, because now yeah, that we're making our own barn door. Have a bucket in here too. <laughs> we, well, we do have a bathroom. But we can make this barn door thing like 20 feet long. You could just keep going and going and just getting doors on it. <laughs> right? There's no limit anymore because we DIY'd it. So. I'm gonna get a pair of pants. You're gonna take mine off. <laughs> Jeez. You know, if we could move down here, we might have to put a wine grid in that. But then we could move down here. Right, beer, wine, and popcorn. What else do you need? Let me see, there'd be one kid there, another one in the middle, <laughs> another one on the floor. And I would be on the chair. Oh, all, all three kids would lose me. And you would be on yeah, the chair. Yeah, that'd be a fantastic idea. Look at that. Perfect. Good enough. It's not straight. <laughs> Alright, what time is it? Is it not even work? Oh, look! 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 It's wine o'clock. <laughs> Sorry, that was cheesy. Beer. It's...
have it. Looks good. Yeah. So anyway, we're super excited. Grab the plans, build it, share it. Build your hotel first. Yeah. And uh, and come back next week and see what shenanigans we're up to then. So see you later. yeah, we'll see you next Monday. <laughs>